Oh, and hello to you too. You narcissistic, self-involved, self-obsessed, egomaniac, ego-sen-trick, mirror-loving fool. Look at you, just trying to date somebody who reminds you of yourself. And as it turns out, I'm not alone. The whole opposites attract thing is a misguided myth at best. Now true, we don't wanna date somebody who is exactly like us, which is why biology decided that dating a sibling is an absolute no-no, but we do wanna make sure we have fundamental similarities with somebody that we are thinking of pairing with. As Helen Fisher wrote, most men and women fall in love with individuals of the same ethnic, social, religious, educational, economic, and those of similar attractiveness. They also want somebody who's comparable in intelligence, attitudes, expectations, values, interests, and those with similar communication skills. By now you guys already know how this goes down. I wanted to test out this theory in person and so I went on a date semi undercover to see if we truly do want to just date ourselves. Casting producers put together a little research tape on him. I like to stay in shape. I like to get the ladies in shape. You're either in shape or you're not, right? Sure, you want to be in shape for sex too. You you work out? Yeah, I'm personal trainer. Yeah, personal trainer out here is kind of like that job that it's almost a step above Uber driver. Really? Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything. I'm just going based off experience. I study I study sex for a living. So I started out in Toronto, and I pretty much became like the biggest name there. And it was like, well, what's next? I wanted to come and dominate in the best you know the best city. So I'm about maximum results. When it's coming from a lady's mouth saying that Charles, you really got game, then you gotta believe it. You gotta run game on me, all right? No, it's good to know. That's, uh, that's good to know. Every time that, you know, you get this touch, just remember that, like, you can have anything you want. Now, it's important to note that not all similarities matter all that much. There's probably about three to five things that somebody has identified consciously or subconsciously as being a very high priority for having likeness for. Everything else probably doesn't hold all that much weight. So, showing up wearing the exact same outfit as your crush probably won't get you a date to the prom. So, we've been dating for, like, six months now, right, babe? Correct. And we're moving in together soon but honestly it doesn't feel rushed at all because when I met you I met my truest self I know we have so much in common like what's your favorite rapper Biggie, Biggie. okay favorite food salmon. salmon favorite season summer oh okay where is your dream place to live LA oh I didn't know that anyways okay a woman's role is in on top kitchen. how many kids do you want four yeah. In my opinion, when deciding what similarities to really focus and prioritize on when it comes to finding the right partner, it's all about knowing yourself. It's very difficult to figure out compatibility when one or two things are kind of unsure why they're there, what they need, or what makes them happy. Well, we're gonna fix all of that today by coming up with a comprehensive list. This includes some participation from y'all, so do me a favor, pause this video right now. Now go and get a pen and a paper, or if you wanna be lazy, just go to the info box and copy and paste the list I have down below. Now it's really important to have this list in front of you and in a way that you can change the order or put a number beside it as you go along. Okay, are you ready? Shared politics slash outlook on life, emotionally stable, securely attached, likes to do new things, supportive slash happy for my good news, intelligent, physically attractive, takes responsibility for self, enjoys working together, has similar interests, has similar values, speaks my love language, strong life skills, good parenting skills, sexually compatible, financially independent, extroverted, trustworthy, faithful, strong leadership skills, allows others to take the lead. So while you guys are looking at the list and ranking it in order from most to least important, I'm gonna tell you guys more about my full screen date where I went with this guy who was a personal trainer and a self-proclaimed ladies man. And so after looking at his social media and watching his casting tape, I deduced that his top three qualities were someone who has strong leadership skills, a high novelty seeker, and physically attractive. What I really learned on this experiment is how important it is to be true to yourself. And when I say true to yourself, I mean your core beliefs and your core needs, 
frivolous things like what movie we pick or we go to eat or what I wear, how I do my makeup on the date, doesn't really all that matter because to me, interests are all about exposure and there's nothing wrong with knowing that someone that you like likes a different style of music and just spending two hours to see if that could be your jam too. I think that those things are healthy compromises but when it comes to this list, you have to be firm about it. And if you try and fake the funk, it's going to not only betray yourself, but ultimately your partner and prevent them from finding somebody who really is their perfect match. Now I know for me on this date, I couldn't have maintained that personality for more than 10 minutes, let alone 10 more years. But I do hope in the end of it all that my date saw that these are the qualities they should look for when they're going out on dates. This is what makes them feel excited. This is what makes them feel energized. And even though it isn't me, somebody who was acting like me would definitely be their ideal mate. We are down to the end of my full screen show. Now, as you guys know, this was an opportunity for me to go on another platform that celebrates me and my pockets and allow me to create the kind of show that I couldn't do by myself. If you love my content, if you support what I do here, going over and watching that show on full screen, number one, will be hella enjoyable for you. I promise you, I've never heard one complaint. And secondly, it would massively support me. And best of all, it won't cost you nothing. So if you are an AT&T customer, you get one year for free on full screen. And again, full screen is a streaming service like Netflix or Hulu. Now, if you are not an AT&T customer, you are still in luck you get one week for free, which is enough time at this point, guys, to binge watch all of season one and all of season two of Sham Booty is your perfect date. One more thing before I go. Now I read your comments and I saw that a lot of you guys were saying the full screen show to you would be more impactful if instead of me going on dates, I was coaching other people who were struggling. So I want you to do me a favor and submit your dating questions. If you have gone out on a date and you weren't sure why it didn't go well, if you're about to go out on a date and you want a game plan for it, I am looking for video questions. So please submit them by email, go in the info box below. So anybody out there, if you have a dating question, whether it's past, present, or future, I wanna hear from you. In the comment section below, put down your top three on your list of 20 characteristics. And then underneath that, write down your bottom three. Trust me, looking at the different things people prioritize will be an eye opener. Due to popular demand, I am now podcasting daily on Anchor FM. Now that is a place you guys can go to ask questions. You actually leave voice notes and then I answer your questions. So go to anchor.fm slash shambooty to sign up and to have your daily questions answered. I get it, girl. Oh yeah, I get it, girl. Yeah, I get it, girl. And if you don't know, get it, girl. Yeah, get it, girl.